Hi everybody, this is a very quick video to show you how to take to Design Space the, this new SVG bundle which lets you cut boxes to hold this lovely new cosy knit clamshell. Um, I forget who makes it now but there will be a link to it in the uh, Etsy listing and I can put it in the description below this video as well. Uh, this is a newish clamshell. So in the SVG bundle you get a box to cut um, an SVG to cut a box to wrap one, two clams and three clams and this three clamshell box which is um, obviously larger than these two you get two versions of that you get a version that you can cut in a single piece from A3 or tabloid if you're in the US using the long mat but you also get a version that you can cut from A4 or letter using the standard mat so um, you don't need the long mat for any of these unless you want to cut the triple clamshell box in a single piece. So I'll just show you, it's they're really lovely clamshells these. They have like a raised section on the front and they're, they're called cosy knit because this is supposed to look like knitting and when they're filled with wax they really do look super pretty. As you can see they're just laid side by side in the box and they're held in place because the raised cells of them pop through the cutouts on the front of the box. I hope you can see it better in those pictures and you can see it there as well. Okay so let's go to design space and we'll bring them in. Bring a single piece one in first. This is the one to wrap just one clamshell. Let's zoom in a little bit single piece box so it's super easy to work with you do still need to convert the lines that come in as cuts which we need to be scores though we can't set those to come in already set to score and in my svgs they always live in that second line down in your layers panel if there were more than one part to this svg that would be a group just like this one is underneath where the cuts are but it's not there's just one set so we need to click on it Go to the operations menu and where it says basic cut, which is what it's set as at the moment, we click on that and choose score from the drop down and you can see that that gets converted. And now because this is just a single piece file, there's no ungrouping to do, we can just select everything on screen. A couple of ways of doing that, you can click right at the top of your layers panel because everything is still in an overall group. Or you can do click the select button there or you can drag a box to enclose it. Lots of different ways depending on what device you're working on. However you do it, once you've selected it, we need to attach the scores to that piece. I am on the desktop version for PC, so for me, attach is at the bottom of the layers panel there. And now if we click make it, you can see that we can choose A4. Um, and we can choose letter so it fits on both of those you can only get one from a sheet though if you would even i think even if you chose 12 by 12 yeah i'm pretty sure we'll try but i think you'll still only get one hang on yeah let's just see if there's any way If you've watched any of my videos, you'll know how mean I am by now. Oh, look. So if the pattern didn't matter, can you? Oh, you just can't. That's a shame. Hmm. That's a shame. Yeah, you can't. So yeah, letter or A4 is the most economical one to cut that from. So that's a single piece box just for one clamshell. We're bringing the double now. Uh, Again, this is a single piece box, so it's going to actually behave in exactly the same way. Uh, the reason I've left this as just a one piece box is because again, this will fit on A4 or letter. So again, you're going to click on that second line down in your layers panel, go over to your operations menu, click on where it says basic cut and choose score from the drop down. And then again, because this is a single piece, just select everything on screen and attach it. I just want to draw your attention to the size of this. It's 26.7 centimetres wide or long if you want to think about it as the longest dimension and 18.45 wide. Now letter card is um, 
21.6 and that easily takes care of the 18.45 and it's 279 which gives you 13 millimetres 79, 67, 12 millimetres over that 267 so it will easily cut from letter but when I click make it whilst I can choose A4 and it easily fits on an A4 it won't let me choose letter for some reason I don't know why so if you're in the US and you want to use letter just choose 12 by 12 and then stick your letter card in the top left hand corner of your map I don't even think you need to worry about moving it away from the score lines uh, by eighth of an inch or so because there's plenty of room for it really so this is the box for two clamshells and that also cuts from a single sheet of A4 or letter using the standard mat okay so now I'll bring in the single piece triple clamshell box so this is the box for three clamshells and again this is a single piece box but obviously it's much bigger three clamshells you need that extra width there and it had to be rearranged to fit well I, I mean I could have done it in a long strip that way but I to avoid two tuck-ins on a box which is potentially um, needs to be a bit stronger I made it this way around instead I got rid of one tuck in and, and made a fold on that bottom edge instead so again click on that second line down to select the score lines go to your operations menu choose score and then select everything on screen however you do it and attach right so as it says in the listing and in the instructions you do need the long mat for this one it won't fit on 12 by 12 unfortunately and you can choose A3 and you can choose tabloid so the long mat and a sheet of A3 or tabloid for the single piece box that holds three clamshells and because I know a lot of people don't have a long mat and don't want to invest in one and goodness knows they are expensive I seem to go through so many they cost a bomb um, I've done it so you can cut it from A4 or letter out of two pieces as well using the standard mat so here it is this is a multi-piece um, SVG now because it's in two pieces with two sets of score lines so again still it l you need to click on that second line down and this time it's the name of a group but just clicking on that second line selects everything in the group again to your operations menu choose score you can see that those lines have been selected but this time because there's more than one set we've got to ungroup them as I said I'm on the desktop version for PC so for me ungroup is here at the top of the layers panel if you're on the app it'll be somewhere along the bottom in a different menu then we need to select the group underneath that contains all the cut pieces and any tiny cut within them all we need to do there is ungroup and then we need to select the whole thing everything on screen and ungroup a third time so three ungroups ideally in that order score lines cut pieces and then the whole SVG so now everything's a separate thing and we can attach the score lines to the individual pieces that they relate to and the quickest way to do that I think is to click on canvas somewhere near a piece drag a box to enclose just that one piece and its score lines and attach it and we'll do it for the other piece as well okay so we'll click make it now and we can see that we can choose A4 and obviously it's going to put it on two mats like it has there if the pattern matters, matters on your card like it did on mine I chose a lovely knitting pattern I had to turn that piece around so that both pieces were actually in the same orientation and here you can choose letter again oh it's got it's done it the other way around now letter's a bit wider isn't it so they're both the same orientation there so it just if you're cutting from A4 and your pattern matters remember that you need to turn that piece around okay that's that if you have any um, questions when you come to cut it or assemble it don't hesitate to get in touch you do get a PDF of instructions with photographs showing you how to assemble it but if you if you need more help do get in touch you can contact me on Etsy or Facebook whichever you prefer and the links to do that are in the description below I will put a link to the clamshells as well and um, if you've just stumbled across this video and you'd like to buy the SVG the link to do that is also in the description below 
Thanks a lot. Bye.